Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers NORC Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. Uh, hi everyone, uh, it's Wednesday and um, so on Wednesday mornings, uh, so I use a combination of things. First, I pick a writer or an author or a person that inspires me um, so that we can learn from someone else. So this time I'm using a book from Thich Nhat Han. he's a Vietnamese uh, monk, he passed um, not long ago. So that's how we start these Wednesdays, reading, learning from others, reading and learning from others. The physical practice is more or less the same every week. Unlike Mondays where the practice is different every week, Wednesday mornings, the practice is the same every week. And there is a reason for that. There are in yoga, there are different uh, schools and some schools do the same practice every time and it, be, it becomes, it's easier to make a ritual out of it. So that's what we're practicing or playing with on Wednesdays. The other thing we do on Wednesday is that we um, practice meditation. And we are using two techniques. So this is what I'm trying right now. So we're, we're the sa ta na ma which I find is easier when my mind is very busy. So when my mind is very busy, it's easier for me to use, use the sa ta na ma because I can hear myself and that kind of clouds out the distractions. So, uh, so what I'm suggesting that we do is that we practice first the sa ta na ma for a few minutes and then we take a quick break and then we practice the, the meditation where the focus is on the breath. And if you have any questions or comments, I know you're muted now, please ask me at the end of class. Love to have to hear uh, your thoughts. Many of some or some of you are, I know are experienced meditators. Okay, so I'm reading for from Thich Nhat Hanh, page 131. I'm just going to read a short part of what he what of, of this. Um, uh, section. Mindfulness of consumption. In order to forget that we have blocks of pain, sorrow, fear, and violence, we lose ourselves in the practice of consumption. Why do we turn on the television? Why do we continue to watch even if the programs are not interesting at all? We watch because we want something to cover up our pain, sorrow, fear, and anger. We don't want those feelings to come up, so we suppress them by consuming. There is some feeling of loneliness, fear, or depression inside that we don't want, so we pick up the newspaper, we turn on the radio, we turn on the television, we pick up the phone, we go for a drive, we do everything we can to avoid confronting our true selves. This kind of consumption is a practice of running away. So the question I can ask myself is, what kind of practice am I using right now? Am I practicing running away? Yes or no? And then I, if I want to, I can uh, dive in deeper and see what is going on really. Uh, okay, so let's go to the physical practice. Starting with uh, taking your seat wherever you are. And that's the hardest part of all to actually sign up and do it. Even if, 
it doesn't really matter if it's how long the practice is. A five minute practice is fantastic. A one minute practice, a 20 minute practice, any kind of practice is, uh, is useful and helpful. So taking your seat, sitting up tall, pit of the belly, pit of the belly goes in and up. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit. And then if you want to, you can place your hands on your knees, allow the shoulders to release out while the neck is long. If you want to, you can bring your awareness to your breathing and just notice the inhale, notice the exhale. Don't change it in any way. Just checking in, checking in. Where are you right now? What kind of information is your breathing giving you right now? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it deep? Is it shallow? And what information is the body giving you? No judgment, judge, observe, just observe. And then if you want to, you can bring your awareness to your sitting bones and notice how they are uh, connecting to your chair. Gravity keeps you here on earth. It's a strong force that wants you to be here. If you want to, you can bring your awareness, or you can shift your awareness to your feet. Notice the connection uh, between the soles of the feet to the ground. You can lift your toes, lift your heels. I am here. I have the right to be here. I am here. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, you could, if you wanted to, you could bring your awareness up to the crown of the head. Sometimes it's easier uh, to place the hand on the crown of the head and find that spot that once upon a time when you were a little baby, there was an opening here. So maybe imagine that there's an opening at the crown of your head. And maybe play with the idea that that's where you're connecting to the universe. So what kind of guidance are you receiving from the universe right now? And then if you want to place the hands on your knees and then you can start to do the Cat cow movement, waking up the spine. Maybe add the breathing together with the movement. Inhale, open up, exhale, round your back. Inhale, open up, exhale, round. So the body and the breath works together as a team. And then coming back to neutral, checking with the earth, with the soles of the feet, checking with your sitting bones, checking with the crown of your head. And then if you want to, you can place the arms in cactus and then gently uh, twist from side to side. Maybe notice what parts of the body is um, uh, feeling this, where do you where do you feel this? So everyone is going to feel this in a different part of your body. It's your unique experience. 
If you want to, you can reach forward and imagine that you go swimming. So today, is the water cold? Is it warm? Is it salt? Is it fresh? Maybe brackish? What color is the water that you're swimming in today? And then release back, uh, hands on your, to your knees. And then if you want to, you can look at your thumb. Pick a color, pick a color. And then draw a big circle, big circle, big circle. And notice the color, notice the color. You pick the color and then do you like the color? What does that color? do to you? What does it mean to you? And then back to neutral. Look at your other thumb, pick a color, it could be the same or it could be a different color. And then draw that color and do it a few times. Try out that color. What do you like about this color? And then back to neutral. Okay, let's do some blinking stars. So using your fingers and do some blinking, bubbling stars, blinking, bubbling stars. And then bring them all the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over, straighten those elbows. Maybe lean to the side, lean to the other side. And then stay here and then open up and turn to one side, open up and turn to one side, stay there. Fingertips are reaching away from each other. Bring awareness to your breathing. Notice the inhale, notice the exhale. And then release back to neutral. Some blinking, bubbling stars, blinking, bubbling stars, all the way up. Clasp the hands, turn them over. Maybe some side bending. And notice how you use your feet when you are bending to the side. So the entire body is uh, engaged in movement. Come to stillness. Open up, twist to the other side. The fingertips are reaching away from each other, reaching away from each other. And then release back to neutral. Maybe just roll the shoulders a little bit. And if I'm doing something that is not working for you, don't do it. I'm just um, suggesting ways to move. You decide what works for you. Okay, bring the arms out in airplane and then inhale and turn the uh, palms up. Exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. One more time. And this time bring the arms um, behind you, holding on to opposite forearms and just stay there. Opening up the shoulders, neck is long, shoulders are wide. If you want to, you can check in with the soles of the feet connecting to earth, maybe lift the uh, Heels, lift the toes, reminding yourself of the connection to earth. It's always there. Sometimes we forget. Release one arm, shake it out, bring it up, bend the elbow, and then place the hand in between the shoulder blades. And then release the other arm, shake it out, bring it up, bend the elbow, place it uh, maybe on top of the other hand. And then release the uh, first arm down, place it behind your back.
And then release the second arm, place it behind your back, stay there for a moment. Notice if this feels the same or different in any way. And then release, shake it out, maybe roll the shoulders a little bit. Okay. Uh, hands on your knees again, if you want to, and then shift the weight from sitting bone to sitting bone. So there are two parts, or there are two halves of us. We have the left half and the right half. So shifting the weight. So once, sometimes you're leaning heavily. So the left side is grounded and the right side is light. Then, and then the right side is grounded and the left side is light. So the body working as a team. And then if you want to, you can start making circles. You can go one way and then the other way, maybe go from side to side or diagonally, or how would you like to move today? What, would, what kind of movements would you like to try today? It's a practice. Every day we wake up, we get a new chance to practice. And then eventually coming back to neutral, placing the feet in Tadasana, big toes to touch heels slightly apart, and then lifting that right knee up, creating circles. You can go one way, you can go the other way, opening up that hip joint. We store a lot of memories in our hips, so sometimes when we do hip openers, uh, we remember things or we start crying, uh, and that's a good thing. Elbows to knees, fingertips together, lengthen the spine, neck is long. The crown of the head is reaching up towards the universe. The sitting bones might not be super connected to the earth, but they are pulling towards the earth. Now, if you want to, you can stay here or you can release the hands down towards the floor. You can walk forward, you can walk to the side, you can lift one hand up, you can drop the head and hold on to elbows. So play around, move around here. What kind of movement does your body need today? You are the expert. And then inhale and come back up. Put that right foot on top of the left knee. If you want to, you can use your fingers and place them in between, in between the, the toes. Maybe uh, gently guide that knee out wide with the elbow. You can sit still or you can add some movement. And then release back to Tadasana feet, left knee comes up, creating big circles, big circles, one way and the other way. And then stepping out wide, elbows to knees, fingertips together, lengthen the spine. Big inhale, big exhale. Maybe release one hand down, maybe bring the other one up. Maybe try some new ways of moving that you've never tried before. You don't have to like it. We're just exploring things. If there's any pain, you stop. If there's discomfort, you can stay. And then eventually coming back up, 
left foot on the right knee. If you want to, you can place the fingers in between the toes. Gently guide that left knee out with your elbow, maybe. You can lean forward. You can uh, move from side to side. Or you can sit still. And then release back to Tadasana. Okay, let's build some, uh, or work with the, with the legs. So uh, bringing the feet closer to your chair to start with, spreading the toes, feet hip distance, hip distance apart so we have a steady connection to earth. And then just checking things out, leaning forward, push into earth, come back, come up to standing and then come back down. Now, let's work the leg. So you can go up and down, up and down. You can stay just um, like an inch uh, above the chair. You can lift one foot, lift the other. You can, if you want to, you can try to come up on one leg, maybe the other leg, building strength. You can jump. So working those legs, so getting a little bit tired, working those legs, finding ways. And you can always take a break and then start again. And then eventually coming all the way up to standing and then stay there. Okay, let the arms be heavy. And then swinging from side to side. Maybe bend the knees. Let the arms be heavy. If you want to, you can look behind you, look behind you. And then bringing the arms up in cactus, lifting the el knee to elbow, knee to elbow. And then maybe cross the midline. And then let's do some blinking, bubbling stars. Blinking, bubbling stars. What kind of blinking, bubbling star are you? Clasp the hands, turn them around, straighten those elbows. The feet are grounded, connecting to the earth. The palms of the hands are facing the universe. What if you combine the two wisdoms? And then bend from one side to the other, opening up the side body. Come to stillness, release, turn to one side, stay there. Fingertips are reaching away from each other. How far away can you reach? Release, shake it out. Blinking, bubbling stars. Turn them around, reach up towards this universe, stay grounded to earth. Release, turn to the other side, fingertips are reaching away from each other. And then release. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit. Uh, place the hands on your hips and then uh, lean from side to side, lifting that leg up. 
uh, engaging the outer side of the hip. If you want to, you can lean to one side and balance and lift that leg up, working the outside of the outer hip or the hip. And then maybe try the other side, leaning, balancing, maybe lift and dip a little bit using the outside of the hip. Okay, now open the fingers, spread the fingers as much as you can. Imagine like something heavy, something heavy it could be a pattern that you have, could be something that you need to do, but you don't really want to do it, but you kind of know that you have to. Something heavy. Now, with all your force, slowly push it away, push it away, push it away, push it away, and then keep it there. Keep it away. Feel your strength. Maybe you need to add some kicking to really keep it away. You could kick the side. Maybe you need to kick behind you too. And then release. Okay. Now let's do three sun salutations. So we moved all that stuff away and now we are ready to greet the sun. Let's do three sun salutations. Starting in Tadasana, I prefer to keep my feet hip distance apart. That gives me more balance. Uh, you choose what works for you. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. That was one. Two more. Inhale arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale up and over. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. And then stay there holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. And then release. Okay, let's do step backs. Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart. Starting in mountain posture, Tadasana. All right, inhale to chair posture, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the left, right heel comes off the floor. Take a big step back, find the earth behind you first with the toes and then uh, with your heel. Facing forward, finding warrior one. Do some uh, blinking, bubbling stars all the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over. Release the arms out to airplane. Maybe inhale and bring the palms of the hands up. Exhale and forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Release the arms. Place them in your back pockets. Bring the elbows together. Open up the heart. From here, move into warrior three. So transfer the weight forward. You can hold on to the chair if you want to. 
uh, bring that back foot up. Now, let's lift whatever leg you're standing on, lift that hand off the chair, bring it out to the side. And then maybe bringing out the other hand too. And then bending, 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 coming back to Tadasana. Okay, let's try the other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the, the weight to the right, left heel comes off the floor. Take a big step back, find the earth behind you with the toes and then the heels. Blinking bubbling stars all the way up, clasp the hands, turn them over. Release them out to airplane. And then if you want to turn them up and forward. Inhale up, forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. Release the arm, place them in your back pocket. Bring the elbows together. Shoulders are widening. If you want to, you can imagine that the manubrium is like the that's a little joint here in between the collarbones. Imagine how the collarbones are creating or moving away from each other, creating more space for the manubrium. Transfer the weight forward, hands on the chair, lift that back foot up. And lift the opposite hand off the chair. And then if you want to, the other hand too. Warrior three. And then bend, 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 bend everything coming back to Tadasana. Okay, let's do a step back to warrior two this time. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the left, right heel comes off the floor. This time, take a big step back. Open up the pelvic halves. Open up the pelvic half, finding warrior two. Bring the, the both arms away from each other. One arm is in the past, the other in the future, and you are right here, right now. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. What did you learn from the past? What did you learn from the past? And then bring that with you into the future. And what are you looking for in the future? What are you looking for in the future? And then bring it back to the present moment, warrior two. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee, let that arm slide down uh, the uh, leg for Trikonasana. What kind of star are you? Rebend the front knee back to the present moment. Here we are. And then bring the hands to the chair, transfer the, transfer, transfer the weight forward. Lift that leg up, dip it in the water, lift it up, dip it in the water, lift it up. And then eventually bring the feet back together, bend the knees and come back up to standing. Okay, let's try the other side. Inhale to chair, exhale to Anjali Mudra. Transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off the floor. Take a big step back, open up the pelvic halves. Arms move away from each other, one in the past, one in the future. You are right here. Flip the front hand, reverse the warrior. What did you learn from the past? What did you learn yesterday?
And how can you bring that knowledge with you or that wisdom with you into the future? And then bring it back to right now, right now. Hands on your hips, straighten that front knee, release the hand down for Trikonasana. What kind of star are you? What kind of bubbling, blinking star are you? And then rebending that knee, coming back to warrior two. Hands on the chair, drag that back foot with you, lift it up, dip it in the water, lift it up, dip it in the water. And then bring the feet back together, bend the knees and come back up to standing. Okay, let's practice uh, three posture. Big toes to touch is slightly apart, starting in Tadasana, mountain posture. Shoulders are wide. Um, I'm grounding my feet and the base of the back of the big toe into the earth, allowing the crown of the head to rise up towards the universe. One force keeps me here on earth and the other force keeps me connected to the universe, standing tall. Okay, transfer the weight to the left, right here comes off the floor. This could be your tree today. This could be it. Maybe you wanna lift the toes off the floor just to try to see what that feels like. Or maybe you are ready to explore a little bit more. What kind of tree posture would you like to try today? Is it a wide tree? Is it a narrow tree? Is it a short tree or a tall tree? Or maybe it's not a tree at all. Maybe you want to be a dancer. And then slowly finding your way back to Tadasana. Two feet on the ground, reaching up towards the universe. Big inhale, exhale, let it go. Transfer the weight to the right, left heel comes off the floor. This could be the tree posture you're practicing today. And then if you want to, you could lift the toes off the floor just to, you know, to see how that feels. And if you fall, the floor is right there. The, fall, the floor is right there. Maybe you wanna try a traditional tree posture. Why not? Why not follow that recipe? and see if that works. Maybe you wouldn't try something else. Maybe you wanna be a warrior, warrior three. And then eventually finding your way back to mountain posture. All right, sometimes hit, place the hands on your hips. Sometimes all we need is a kick in the butt, kick in the butt. We know what to do. We have what we need. And all we need, or one more thing that we need is just a kick in the butt. And then when we're done, we need to recover. Place the hands on the chair, um, release 
uh, release the hand, I mean, the knees down towards the uh, floor and just stay there with the toes tucked, allow the toes to open up. If you want to, you can bring the arms up and clasp the hands. Maybe release the hands into your back pockets. And then eventually finding child's posture, bring the knees a little bit wider, untuck the toes, release the hips to uh, the heels. And then maybe you wanna let the forearms go to the floor. Maybe letting the forehead come to the floor for child's posture. And then when you're ready, if you're ready, come back up, place the forearms on the chair in the triangle. So hands are together and the elbows are wide. Create a triangle that's st stable. Tuck the toes, engage the core, lean heavily into the forearms. Widen the shoulders, lift the knees off the floor. There's no rush. And then walk your feet up towards the chair. Stay there for a moment. And then bend the knees, bend the knees, and then come up to standing. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna practice uh, meditation. And uh, we have been playing with two different techniques. And uh, this time I just, I wanted to try that first together, we practice the Sata Natma for a few minutes. And then uh, we practice um, the meditation where we keep the focus on the breathing. The basic idea, as far as I understand, is that we want to observe or understand that we have all these thoughts. We create stories. In the co that would that's the third kosha, the third kosha. My physical body, my breast body, and then the third uh, body is the storyteller. So that's where we that's where thoughts and feelings are. We create a lot of stories, and to those stories or those thoughts, there are emotions connected. So I create a story that's. Uh, something bad is going to happen and then I feel fear. Where I create the story that something fun is going to happen and I feel happiness. It's both our stories. Both our stories. So in meditation, generally speaking, we sit there and then we focus on something, maybe satanama or the breath. And then after a while, we start thinking. We start thinking, we start thinking about what I'm going to do next, what I'm going to get at the grocery store, um, whatever. Maybe I'm going to make a phone call, whatever. I start thinking. And then what happens next is that I become aware. There's a part of me that becomes aware of my thinking. Hmm, I'm thinking. That's the fourth kosha, the wisdom body. And I can see myself from a bigger perspective. And I understand that I'm creating a lot of stories. That's interesting, huh? And then I let that story go. I get a little break from the storytelling. And then it starts again. I start thinking, what am I gonna do tomorrow? What happens next year? Or my God, I can't believe she did that to me 10 years ago. Uh, and I'm creating stories and here we go again. Yes, and then, and then we, we notice that we're creating the stories and it's like, hmm, taking a step back noticing what's going on, understanding that I am creating a story. Okay, the sat 
the Sata Nama to me is easier because I say something and it helps me to keep the stories away. So I'm creating, I'm creating a Sata Nama story, which is slightly better than most of my own stories. Sa is birth, Ta is life, Na is death, Ma is rebirth. I know that someone of you said, can I use those words? Of course. If Sata Nama does not make sense to you, you could say birth, life, death, rebirth. Birth, life, death, rebirth. So what we're going to do is that we, you sit up tall. And then uh, you say out loud, sa, and then you use your fingers. So sa, thumb and index, ta, next finger, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. You do that, you say that out loud for, for a few times and then you say it in the mind. And then we'll do that for maybe five minutes. And at the end of five minutes, I'm gonna play this one. And then you know that that part of the practice is done. Okay, let's see. Hands on your knees to start with, sit up tall, checking in with the earth uh, and the universe. Here we are connected to both forces. And then uh, use the hands. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma.
Okay, <clears throat> okay let's try uh, the, the other technique with, where uh, we bring our awareness to the breathing. So usually what happens is that we start, uh, we notice the breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then after a while, the mind start wondering, we create stories and then we become aware of it. That's the critical point. I tell myself, hmm, I'm creating stories or I'm thinking. And then I bring my awareness back to the breathing, inhale, exhale. And then I do that for a while. And then I'm gonna start the story creating again. And then comes the critical awareness point where I'm under, when I see that I'm creating a story, and then I bring my awareness back to the breathing. So it's a circle, just like uh, just like Sata Nama is a circle, this is a circle. So uh, let's do that. We're gonna have like practice for about five minutes. Sitting up tall, hands on your uh, show, on your knees, maybe roll the shoulders, checking in with earth, checking in with the universe. And then bringing your awareness to your breathing, notice the inhale, notice the exhale. You can keep your eyes um, closed, or a soft gaze. And then I'm going to be quiet for five minutes and we practice together.
<clears throat> oh, wiggle your hands, wiggle your toes, gently uh, move your head from side to side. And take a deep breath in, let it go. If you want, you can place your hands in Anjali Mudra, holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. Uh, maybe gently bow your head in gratitude for this practice, thousands of years old. Thank you, inner guide, your past, present, and future teachers, and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Open your eyes, raise your gaze, and thank you so much for practicing together this morning. It takes a team. Hi, everyone. This is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.